time for my favorite part of the job. Hold on, let's get that shrimp on there now. Moment of truth. Damn. That's better than I thought it was gonna be. What's up guys, welcome back. It's hard to believe it, but football season is in full swing and I know you need some new game day eats, so I'm here to help. Today I'm gonna show you how to make this Cajun shrimp dip. With a little baguette on the side, you can use tortilla chips if you want. Either way, it's gonna be delicious. But before we get into that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right guys, meet me in the kitchen. Let's make it happen. First things first, we got some veggies to prep and that is comprised of our Cajun Trinity, which is onion, bell pepper, and celery. I'm gonna throw a little jalapeno in there for some spice, add that to the party as well. All right, my friends, it's time to prep some shrimp. We got some medium shrimp here. One slice gets you three pieces. We're gonna go ahead and cut this down. We're gonna save a handful of shrimp for garnish, like right on top of the dip to make it look pretty. But otherwise, we're gonna go ahead and break this shrimp down so that it works its way into the dip. All right, guys, we got about a pound and a half of shrimp here. We're gonna season it up with my AP and my lemon bay. Light application, low sodium seasoning, so you can, you know, taste as you go and adjust the flavor to your preference, but you shouldn't overdo it. Little pinch of Cajun seasoning as well. And then a little smoked paprika. Get in there with your hands, give that a mix. And just want to saute this in some butter and allow that to be the foundation of flavor for our dip as we go to cook our veggies. All right, so we're gonna melt two tablespoons of butter in a skillet over medium heat. To that, we're gonna add our seasoned shrimp. No shrimp left behind. Get those all in the hot tub. And then we're just gonna cook them until they're most of the way done. They're also, this is also going in the oven, guys, so if your shrimp's not 100% cooked, they will finish up in the oven. Let's get those shrimp tossed around in that butter. You guys know butter makes everything better. A little bit less expensive version of like a nice Cajun crab dip. So shrimp you usually find on sale, especially a little bit cheaper than crab these days. So nice little alternative, just as delicious. We have a mixing bowl with eight ounces of cream cheese, room temperature. Once we pull the shrimp out, they're going into this mixing bowl. Beautiful color on the shrimp so far. Now we're gonna go ahead and add that to the cream cheese. Allow that residual heat to start melting that cream cheese nicely. And then all that shrimp flavor, is, we're gonna leave that in the skillet. That can't go anywhere, we need that. A little bit more butter, cause why the hell not? We're here for a good time, not a long time. And it's NFL Sunday. So, butter's going in the skillet. It's gonna start to break up all that shrimp flavor at the bottom of your skillet. And that's gonna help flavor our veggies. So in go the jalapeno, the onions, the bell pepper, the celery. Let me saute that, let that cook down a bit. Add a little touch of seasoning to that as well. A little AP, a little smoked paprika. If you don't like spice, guys, you could totally leave out the jalapeno. All right, so we got the shrimp flavor in there already, but we're gonna amplify the seafood flavor even more by using just a teaspoon of this Better Than Bouillon lobster base. This stuff is absolutely packed with flavor, guys, but it also has quite a bit of sodium in there. That's why we're not going too crazy with the additional seasonings, and the seasonings that we are using are low sodium. So, just a little teaspoon of that. Bring a little more flavor to the party. Next, we're coming with our lemon juice. About a teaspoon of that. And then lastly, about a half cup of dry white wine. We're gonna increase the heat to high, burn off the alcohol. 
Speaking of amplifying flavor, we're going in with some roasted garlic. Can't go wrong with that, my friends. Gonna mash that down, let that kind of work its way into everything. It'll dissolve right on in there. Tons of sweet roasted garlic flavor in this dip. As you can see, all the liquid is burned off or reduced. And that, my friends, is also going into the mixing bowl along with the shrimp and the cream cheese. Let that cool for a second and then add the remainder of the ingredients. All right, so we let the veggies cool a little bit. Now we're going in with about a cup of sour cream. I'm gonna give that a mix, try to start. There we go, only have to try. That residual heat did a great job melting that room temperature cream cheese. Highly recommend you go on room temperature on that. It's gonna fold all this together and start adding in our cheese. For the folks out there that think that cheese doesn't go with seafood, you clicked on a shrimp dip recipe. So save your comments. Next up, we're going with a few dashes of worst word in the world sauce. Along with a few dashes of your favorite hot sauce. For me, that's Texas Pete. Even though this guy is not really from Texas, apparently. So I still like it. I'm gonna mix that in. Then in comes the Parmesan cheese, Colby Jack, and mozzarella. You can use whatever cheese you like, guys. That's the, the three cheese blend that I'm going with today. We're going to use most of the Colby Jack to top it because I like the way that it melts and looks on camera. It's nice and mild, too. Typically, you can get a good cheese pull, which you guys go crazy about. So that's important to me. I'm gonna go ahead and fold that in. You're gonna be able to get this in a casserole dish, pop that in a 350 degree oven for about 25 minutes or so. Then we're gonna make our baguette and you'll be sitting in front of the TV watching your team lose, but you gotta have a good meal. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and make our toasted baguettes. It's going with the dip. Again, you could go ahead and use tortilla chips or crackers if you want to. We're gonna use our serrated blade. Going for about a half inch thick or so. It's about right. All right, so we're gonna use the rest of this roasted garlic because no flavor left behind. Nothing's going to waste here. Let's get all of that out of there. Then we're going in with a little bit of this garlic infused olive oil, about a half cup or so of that, a little hit of my all purpose seasoning, and then some of my good friend Kimmy's garlic butter and herb seasoning. A little sprinkle of fresh parsley. Break out the whisk and mix the combine. Try to crush up that garlic if you can. And then we're just gonna uh, add the bread to this mixture, toss it around, make sure it's coated nicely. And once they're nicely coated like so, onto our baking sheet. We're just gonna pop that in the oven along with the shrimp. And that, my friends, is what your shrimp dip looks like fresh out of the oven. We'll let this cool for about 10 minutes and then garnish it up. And this is the part where I say, brace yourself for a trademark money shot. Say it with me guys, looking good. The only thing left to do is dig in for the taste test. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right, my friends. 
Time for my favorite part of the job. Hold on, let's get that shrimp on there now. Moment of truth. Damn. That's better than I thought it was gonna be.